The infinite expanses of space hold many mysteries that fire the imagination of man. They range from inexplicable events to accounts of people who have been in space. Come with us into the world of secret space mysteries in the following video. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and look forward to the videos that will be waiting for you in the future. Tesla and UFOs Nikola Tesla, born in 1856, had a lasting influence on the course of history with his inventions. As an electrical engineer and physicist, he was responsible for several innovations in the field of electrical engineering and developed the system of electrical energy transmission still in use today. He's also said to be responsible for the first X-ray image. However, the image was the result of an accidental photograph he took of the writer Mark Twain. In 1899, Tesla believed he had contact with extraterrestrials after hearing rhythmic noises through his radio receiver that he believed to be of extraterrestrial origin. When asked about the greatest possible achievement of the coming century, Tesla replied that he had already achieved that by receiving the message from extraterrestrials. These incidents, together with his inventions, which were among the most significant of their time, stylized Tesla into a mysterious cult figure. T09-618 Black Hole That black holes can assume huge dimensions is well known. A particularly large supermassive black hole is found at TON-618. The quasar was first mentioned in 1957 during a study of stars. It is a distant, brightly shining quasar that is home to a black hole 66 million times the mass of our Sun. Researchers suspect that TON-618 is an accretion disk around a supermassive black hole in the center of a galaxy. It cannot be seen from the Earth because the quasar's light is as bright as 140 trillion suns, outshining the galaxy. Scientists stated that the quasar's light has an age of 10.4 billion years and TON-618 is more than 10 billion light-years away. UFOs and Gordon Cooper Does extraterrestrial life exist? Many people would answer in the affirmative while stating that they themselves have had contact with extraterrestrials. One such person is Gordon Cooper, who as a U.S. astronaut participated in the last manned spaceflight of the Mercury program in 1963. After he left NASA in 1970, he dedicated his life to investigating UFO sightings, having come into contact with the phenomenon himself during his service. In an interview, he stated that he saw hundreds of UFOs in 1951 alone and that his first UFO sighting occurred during a flight over Germany. He believes that these aliens visit Earth in their spaceships and come from planets that are more technologically advanced. Gordon Cooper hoped that his statements would lead the United Nations to collect data on the matter so that the phenomenon could be analyzed soberly. Cooper accused the government of covering up its knowledge of extraterrestrial occurrences and called for a top-level program to figure out the best way to contact the visitors. Gordon Cooper died in 2007 and is not the only former astronaut who was convinced of the existence of extraterrestrial life. UFOs and Vladimir Kavalyanik Russian cosmonaut Vladimir Kavalyanik was part of the crew of the Salyut 6 mission in 1981 when looking out of the spacecraft, he spotted an object that defied the laws of physics. The ellipse-shaped object was flying with the space capsule and appeared to be rotating in the direction of flight. At first, it flew straight up to some kind of explosion that shone with golden light. About two seconds later, another explosion followed and two more objects appeared, glowing beautifully. Just before crossing the day-night boundary, Kavalyanik could see white smoke. After dipping from South Africa into the night sky over the Indian Ocean, the UFOs had disappeared. At a press conference after his return to Earth, Vladimir Kavalyanik reported the object was the size of a finger and he expressed surprise at having made the observation in Earth orbit. Mysterious Signals For more than a decade, 
short radio signals have caused excitement among researchers. These high energy radio waves from distant parts of the cosmos have the energy of millions of stars for a brief moment and then disappear within a fraction of a second. So far, the origin of these mysterious signals is unclear and science is at a loss. For the first time, these radio waves were intercepted in 2007. With the help of data from the Australian Parks Radio Telescope, more than 20 of these signals have been detected so far. The mystery of these radio waves plunged the world of astronomy into excitement. Using radio telescopes from Puerto Rico, Mexico, and Europe, the source of the signal could be narrowed down to a small galaxy two and a half billion light years away. Researchers hope to gain new views of our universe by analyzing these high-energy radio waves. NASA Twin Study Twins' identical genetic material makes them ideal subject for studies that explore the influence of their respective environments on humans. Astronauts Mark and Scott Kelly participated in the NASA Twin Study, which aimed to research the impact of extended space flights on health. As part of the study, Scott flew to the International Space Station, ISS, for the period of one year to live and work. His brother Mark remained on Earth for the period of the experiment from March 27, 2015 to March 2, 2016. Before, during, and after the end of the experimental period, the brothers were studied by a team of scientists. The focus was on variations in the molecular and physiological levels, as well as differences in the brothers' behavior. The results showed, among other things, changes in Scott Kelly's chromosomes in the form of elongated telomeres. NASA hoped the study would provide new insights for missions to the Moon or the planet Mars. Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall In November 2013, the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, the largest superstructure possibly in existence, was discovered. If it existed, it would be a filament a group of galaxies connected by gravity with a size of 10 billion light years. This superstructure would be twice the size of the previous record holder and would be the most massive structure in the known universe. 2008 TC3 Researchers and amateur astronomers keep an eye on the sky to discover celestial bodies. Particularly frightening is the idea that a giant asteroid could be discovered that could wipe out all life on Earth as it did with the extinction of the dinosaurs. For the asteroid 2008 TC3, the collision with the Earth could be calculated in advance for the first time. The fiery tail of 2008 TC3 lit up the night sky above Sudan on October 7, 2008. After entering the Earth's atmosphere, the asteroid with a diameter of 3 to 4 meters broke apart explosively and the fragments of the meteorite crashed to the ground in the Nubian desert. There were just 20 hours between its discovery and its impact. Chicxulub Crater Chicxulub Crater, located on the Yucatan Peninsula, is more than 110 miles in diameter and was named for the village at its center. The remains of the crater are found under many layers of limestone and are silent witnesses to the extinction of many species of the Earth. About 65 million years ago, an asteroid the size of a small town struck the site releasing the force of 100 million megatons of explosives. The impact had terrible consequences for animal and plant life during the transition to the Cenozoic era with its shockwave and subsequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. It was not until 1978 that the Chicxulub Crater was discovered by geologist Glenn Penfield while working for the Mexican oil company Pemex. Currently, the crater serves computer simulations designed to prove its origin from the asteroid belt. Other research focuses on the crater's role in the extinction of dinosaurs. Scientists stated that an asteroid impact of this size occurs only once every 100 million years. Water on the Moon NASA scientists were able to detect water on the moon. The team led by Shui Li of the University of Hawaii and Brown University, together with Richard Elphick of the Ames Research Center in Silicon Valley, were able to use data from NASA's Moon Mineralogy Mapper, M3, to provide definitive proof that there are ice water deposits on the Moon. 
The M3 is aboard the Chandrayaan-1 spacecraft, which was launched in 2008 by the Indian Space Research Organization to provide evidence of ice deposits on the Moon. Not only were reflections of the ice captured, but measurements were also made of how the molecules of the ice absorb infrared light. This makes it possible to distinguish between liquid water and ice. The deposits are located in the coldest and darkest parts of the Moon's polar regions. At the North Pole, ice is found widely scattered, and at the South Pole, ice deposits are limited to the lunar craters. In these regions, temperatures never rise above negative 155 degrees Celsius. The reason lies in the Moon's axial rotation, which ensures that no sunlight reaches the ice surfaces. Scientists hope to harness the ice in future missions and maybe even make it possible to establish a base on the Moon to access the water beneath its surface. The availability of water on alien planets and its harnessing would be a milestone for human spaceflight and human colonization of the universe. As soon as there is a breakthrough in this matter, you will find out on this channel. Do you know of any other space mysteries? What is your opinion on the subject? Use the comments section below to share them with us. We'll look forward to hearing from you.